Hey guys, uh, my name is Ben Hall. Um, I am a content creator, gamer, streamer, uh, and um, I just wanted to go over some things that uh, go over some things on how I go through about editing my clips and uh, my videos, my game game streams and stuff like that. Um, I know um, Athenoscope was awesome. Uh, everybody was so disappointed when Athenoscope had uh, dropped uh, and just basically bailed out out of nowhere, just disappeared. Um, it was probably the best AI generating uh, for game clips ever, ever was. And I, I don't understand why they disappeared. I don't understand why they didn't set up a pay service because uh, from what I know from a lot of game creators and streamers, who do clips and for shorts and reels and stuff like that and for content on YouTube, um, they would have paid money to basically for the AI. But with that said, Zenoscope is gone. So I, I don't know if, if they'll ever come back or if something will ever come back. But what I'm going to do, guys, I am going to go through and show you uh, the best options to replace a thinoscope, what I do, some of the things that I do, because uh, I do multiple things to get my clips uh, and everything else like that. So basically, one, um, I don't really stream anymore. Uh, when I do stream, I stream to Twitch uh, because Twitch has the best video graphics, uh, HD quality videos uh, per stream. Uh, than any than YouTube than Facebook. Facebook uh, uh, is horrible on video. Um, YouTube is hasn't been that great lately. So I streamed to Twitch, and what I've done was, and the best alternative, guys, the best alternative for Athenoscope is Eclipse. Uh, just go to eclipse.gg. Sign up with your email address and then link your Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook accounts. Uh, Eclipse will uh, retrieve your stream, uh, retrieve your your game game files, uh, and from what I know, um, I I, th I think you have to uh, basically stream to YouTube, Facebook, or or Twitch. I don't think there's a way to actually upload your video from raw content from MP4 file that you have to retrieve it um, on there. But what I but it retrieves, and as you can see, it, it retrieves you know your your stream. So if we if I go here and I click on on streams here, let's let me go to home, uh, and it gives you like an overview of how many streams have been clipped, the highlights has been generated. Uh, on there, which is pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, but if you see here, um, there's from my Call of Duty oh, uh, one. There's my Destiny one. It don't really does do Destiny that very well. It'll clip like like 40, 50 minute clips or something like that, or or uh, a four hour clip of what this one did. Um, but Apex Legends and Call of Duty, it will clip pretty good. Uh, do pretty good clips and. If you click on, let's say I'm gonna click on the Call of Duty one, uh, see it goes through and it's generated clips. Uh, they usually run between 54 uh, and uh, minutes on single clips, but then they do stuff like uh, multi kills, uh, downs and double da double kills uh, clips, and best three minutes. Uh, they'll do your your streaks. Your your kill streaks, uh, and then they have single kills. Uh, if you want to uh, download those clips, now great thing about Eclipse.gg, you can do one or two things. You can either download the clip in its full screen format, which gives you a full HD quality or 2K quality. Uh, as you can see, a download video, or you can actually convert it right there on the website to a TikTok Reels format. Uh, for Facebook, YouTube, uh, TikTok, uh, for all that. Now, a lot of times, if, if I download the if I download the full video, 
I'll go over to uh, and when I do download full videos, I'll download four, five, six full videos. And what I'll do, I'll take them over here to Capwing. Uh, and this is the other little thing I do, Capwing. And you see, I've got my folders uh, for my thing. And what I'll do is I'll go in here and I'll create a project and I'll find the video file. Let me just find one here. Uh, where's my COD folder? Call of Duty folder. Call of Duty folder. Uh, let's just say, um, how big is that file there? Find a big one. Um, let me find not one that big. But okay, here you go. Uh, four four multi kills. I'll upload upload this one real quick. It won't it won't take too long to upload uh, with my connection. And what I'll do with these files, I'll get uh, several of these together. I'll put them on here. I'll export them into one gigantic file. And then when I'll go through, when I do that, I'll go over here and Capwing has an, a pretty awesome little thing where if you have Call of Duty and Apex Legends files, if you hit Smart Cut, you'll actually cut out the silenced areas. And you can choose the sensitivity of how you want to do it. Uh, and then you can go in there and you can export it and download it and then put it on whatever you want to do or if you want to do a full montage or anything like that. Uh, Catwing does have effects and transitions and stuff like that, but I usually don't tend to use those too much uh, on Catwing. They seem to where they just stop, stop working as much. Now, Catwing is a $20 a month um, fee for it. Uh, if you have video editing software already, that can do do the smart cut, uh, then I would get if you want to save some money. But if you want that smart cut feature, which I use constantly all the time to weed out all the silenced areas, it makes for better clips, uh, then, then do that. Uh, and then sometimes uh, I'll download uh, maybe a, a, a little small clip, uh, two or three of them, and I'll upload them to Streamladder. My stream ladder is pretty nice also. It has some really, really cool features in it. Now, this is a paying service too, but it's not much. It's real, really cheap for this paying service. So let's say like, um, I'm gonna go in, in this right here, uh, and I'm gonna go in here. Well, oh, there's no files in there. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, let's do this. Let me do one where uh, unsorted. Uh, I'll take this one right here, uh, and I'll take it out, upload it. And as you can see, it gives you a small preview of the actual the gameplay. And then you can go in there and, of course, I die on that one. I would pick one. I choose, of course, I would choose one I die on. Uh, and then go in here and, whoops, oops, I kicked myself out of it. Son of a bitch. Uh, go in here and then choose. You can choose if you have a webcam from your stream, you can do the webcam ones. If you want to do the blur, you can do the blur, which a lot of people use for TikToks uh, and YouTube Shorts. Uh, but honestly, I like the full screen, full screen version. Because if you choose the full screen version, it automatically center, centers it for you. And then you go in there and edit the video. It'll actually give you these stickers you can put on there for whatever. If you want to do that, I don't do, do the stickers thing. Uh, and you can go to output settings and it'll do it in full HD format and then you hit render clip and it'll create that create that short for you. Sometimes I sometimes I do it this because you can save the clip to the cloud. Uh, I like to post my YouTube uh, shorts from desktop uh, because I automatically have generated all the descriptions and the tags and everything else like that that, that I put on every one of my video videos uh, and then I have it uploaded to the cloud that way I can go to my phone and download the clip from my phone because it from Streamladder and then I can upload it to Facebook Reels I can upload it to tick upload to TikTok to, to hover uh, I can I, I can upload it there it, very simple but guys these are these are some alternatives uh, to Athena scope now eclipse.gg is the best best alternative to Athenoscope, uh, since Athenoscope is gone. And uh, guys, I'm telling you, uh, if you can open up account with Eclipse.gg, then do so. Do so. Uh, it is, is a very, very great tool to have for 
uh, if you're a streamer, if you're a gamer, if you do clips, if you do shorts, if you do reels, uh, it's the best option out there for that. For that. The other two things, Streamliner and Catwing, if you want to do those two, but Eclipse, Eclipse.gg will actually do a lot of it by, by itself. I know a lot of gamers and streamers already have their video editing software. Uh, now, sometimes I will use uh, AOSoft Video Converter if I want to take a one of my YouTube videos and make it 4K. It actually does an exceptional job of doing 4K videos, and I like to go in there and do a color correction uh, and then do a video enhancer, which removes noise and removes shaking from the video. That way it's a more more stable video whenever you upload it to YouTube. And, and, and guys, um, think, about these, think about these things. If you're a streamer, if you're a gamer, if you're a content creator, think about Eclipse.gg. It is the best option to Athena Scope. Uh, other than that, guys, have a great day. I hope everybody watches this video and share, shares it. Uh, Y'all have a great and wonderful day. Thank you for uh, watching.